It's National Guacamole Day on Saturday, and we're going to celebrate a bit early. Local food critic Peter Dills is back this morning with a couple of tasty recipes. Kelsey's on the patio out with them right now. Hi, Kelsey. Hi, Tony. Yes, one of our favorites, guacamole, and I'm joined with Peter Dills. He's the king of cuisine, that radio personality, and Peter, I have to ask, we have another food holiday. Are you just making these up to get up here? Well, Tony's <laughs> accused me of that of a few times. No, it really is National Spicy Guacamole Day. You know, um, avocados are actually a fruit and they're commonly called alligator pears. And you could probably understand why they're called alligator pears because they have a texture like an alligator. Like an alligator. Right. The green color <laughs> kind of feel like an alligator and they, they're shaped like a pear. <laughs> That's true. But talking about guacamole, mm -hmm. kind of tell us what we're making. I'm seeing pomegranates with this guacamole. This is a little different, right? Well, we always like to do it a little different here on the show, but I brought Katie Chin in. She's from Palm Wonderful. And over to your left is my good friend Kurt DeLong from the Fez Parker. And they have created their own guacamole. That's right. It actually happens to be National Pomegranate Month as well. <laughs> and pomegranates add an, a big, bright burst of flavor to any meal that you make. So what I made today is a pomegranate guacamole. I started with some avocado. Then we added some garlic, red onion, jalapeno pepper for a little kick, some lime juice, and our pomegranate arils that are loaded with vitamin C and lots of antioxidants, and then just some salt to taste. Blend it all together, and it's amazing. So lots of blending. For yeah. people that like pomegranates, they like this? It's super easy, it's delicious, and you can buy these arrows just like this, or you can open up a pomegranate. But it's so healthy, kids love it, adults love it, maybe no jalapeno for making it for little kids. <laughs> but um, it's extremely versatile, so easy to use, and my friends go crazy for it. And you're the chef that's joining us, right? Correct. So can report. you kind of show us how we blend this up and kind of get in here and work with it? Sure, I have a more of a straightforward. Yeah, go for it. Uh, recipe. It's um, just Haas avocados. There's a lot of different varieties there. Uh, reed, uh, uh, hulos, but this is a, a nice avocado that is grown primarily in California. 95% of the uh, avocados grown in the United States are right here in Southern California. So we have a really rich, um, uh, you know, really rich um, history here. And we've got some heirloom tomatoes. We'll put that in there. Some red onions some green onions, some cilantro, some jalapeno, and that's pretty pretty standard recipe. Squeeze in a little citrus here to help uh, not only with flavor, but the, uh, it won't turn the um, avocado brown. It'll uh, keep it from oxidizing. And then a little salt and a little pepper. And that's pretty much it. And then you just mash it up. And the finished product is right there in front with some uh, organic uh, tortilla chips. So Peter Dill, you have brought us two different types of guacamole. Yeah. So we're going to try both of them right now. So grab some chips. Let's just try the uh, palm over here. Palm wonderful. Come on, come on, get in there. Get in there, all right. <laughs> get in there. And you can get this recipe at palmwonderful.com. Yeah, tell us again where you can get the recipe. You can get this recipe at palmwonderful.com along with a, a ton of other amazing palm granite recipes. So thank you for joining us for this spicy guacamole day. I'm going to be out here tasting all of these, and Tony, I'll let you know how they are.